Welcome back magicians and welcome to Monday. Well, sunny and creative, very childlike, very romantic even. The moon has moved into Cancer now, which really helps you in two different ways. On the one hand, having the moon in a water sign gives water signs a break because the moon in a water sign kind of balances the emotions of the planet, depending on what kind of water sign it's in. Now that the moon's in Cancer, the whole planet is being kind of balanced in a motherly way or in a way that really self-nurtures the soul. So that really frees Pisces up from picking up on all kinds of anxiety. You are so sensitive in most cases, unless you've shut off with alcohol or drugs. That's the big joke with Pisces. They can go too far, mostly because they're so sensitive. That's why they go down those paths. And that sensitivity can be really daunting at times. So today with the moon in a water sign, I think you get a break from picking up on everyone else's stuff. Now what this does is really free your heart to play and be creative. Your heart today will be tied to your soul and your inner child. And you have to remember one thing, Mars is moving retrograde right now. So even though your heart might be in creativity or romance and really want to be out there being expressive of yourself and all the colors, Mars moving retrograde in the same house indicates that th something may have to be redone. That could be a rewrite, that could be repainting something. Any kind of creative expression may have some activity that needs a repeat, or you might have to go backwards, so to speak, in that field. So don't get let down as your heart is all stirred up. Now the sun, on the other hand, in Sagittarius, in the house of career, today ruled by Uranus. What that tells me is some potential breakthrough. Now we're in chapter one of sun in Sagittarius. And like I said last Friday, this is a very big deal because the sun is going to join Jupiter and Pluto all at once. And that will be the graduation point for all of your great career transformations that began in 1995. So this is a very big deal. You're about to graduate a very long long diploma spiritually. So now in this first chapter, you're going to be identifying some parts of your career path that still probably aren't thought through, uh, thought through enough. So in today and through tomorrow, look for some breakthrough thinking on what that might be. All right, Pisces, that's all we got for Monday. See you tomorrow with more Soul Horoscopes. Live, love, be. So good.